For those of you who've been following the progression of my woodworking business as we gear up for moving into a new workshop, I thought I'd do an update. Now you may remember that we were looking at a premises in a fairly desirable area of Sheffield, sort of up and coming industrial area, Callum Island, and there's a, there was a possible premises right next to the CNC manufacturer Chop Shop, and it seemed like a great possible partnership where we could we could start getting more things CNC manufactured with a view to eventually getting our own CNC machine um, and that seemed to make a lot of sense but a couple of developments on that we've just sent uh, well a week or two ago we sent a load of doors to be CNC cut so I dropped off the boards MR MDF boards and the drawings with lots of doors, doors tightly nested onto those boards um, which was great because we had a lot of jobs come in and we batched them together but because of the lead times with Chop Shop which is fair enough, I mean everyone has lead times it's meant that the first job that needed to be installed had to be fitted without the doors and I'm just now going to pick up all the doors so we'll, we'll then be racing to, to assemble sands and paint those doors to be fitted. We were aiming for tomorrow, but it's probably going to be Friday now. So I'm starting to see the cracks in the in the plan where, like anything that you outsource, you end up in the hands of other people's um, timings and things don't flow as, smooth, as smoothly as they can when you can make it in-house um, and make your own priorities. So that's raised some questions about the plan going forward and then the, the nail in the coffin of getting that premises is that the, the landlord has now decided that because we have a few office staff, we don't really fit with the space they've got. And I've got to admit that that's, that seems like the right conclusion, really. We were thinking, how can we fit a functioning office into this warehouse space surrounded by noise? So that plan now is out the window, which is kind of helpful because that decision's made. We were starting to doubt it. So now we're considering other premises that are within striking distance of Chop Shop to pursue that plan. Um, but also looking again at whether we just take the plunge and get the investment we'd need to get a CNC machine, which would be 20 grand upwards, because if we're going to do it, I'm not going to bother with a cheap, small bed one, and I'm not going to bother with one that doesn't have auto tool change, because I've done enough research to show that the way we want to move forward with it, we really need the size and the features that it will produce quickly, or we'll just have another another round of investment before long. Um, so, not, not exactly back to square one, but I think constantly developing our thinking, and I'm glad that we haven't rushed into a decision about the machinery to invest in or the space that we're going to move into. Uh, the other thing I'm doing right now is uh, all in the same area, picking up some tools from Tony, the, the guy with the crazy packed workshop full of old tool parts. Uh, I've got a few things under repair that we need to get, including the nail gun which is needed to assemble the, the CNC cut doors, because you need, you need some very short pins to hold the 9mm panel into the rebated 18mm. And the only nail gun we've got that fits those pins is the one that's in for repair. In other news, I'm really excited that we've gone over the 500 subscribers on the channel. So thank you to everybody that's subscribed. I do appreciate your interest and I'm always happy to hear from people. Um, comments, encouragements and questions. Um, for anybody interested, I, I make zero money from YouTube. Uh, but as you can imagine, I do have a plan for ways that I can monetize it. Um, the main one being ultimately offering SketchUp training. So do tell me if you're interested. I've got a little list of people that have said they would be interested in that. Um, I'm not going to commit to when or how that happens because we've got a lot on at the moment. But I'm thinking a certain number of tutorials for free on YouTube, but ones that are more in depth by some sort of paid method, maybe Patreon or I'm not entirely sure, um, but, they, but it will be a, a SketchUp channel aimed at British fitted furniture makers, so it's not all American, um, 
inch sizes and American uh, methods and that sort of thing. It's aimed at, at you, probably, if you're the sort of person that's watching this channel. Uh, so if, if I have an overwhelming number of people saying I, I'm desperate for this, then it may force my hands to start acting on it quicker. Um, and one more thing in the pipeline which I am going to start posting videos about is a, a board gaming table that we, we're prototyping for possible mass production. I'm just wanting to get that a little bit more concrete before I share more on it. Uh, so that is about it I think for the update. Always happy to hear from you, do comment below and uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you next time, or at least you'll see me.